Hello everyone, this is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video. Hey, check out the notes no section below. There is a link to get a Trezor, an affiliate link if you're interested in buying a Trezor. I am still in Las Vegas, but I'm about to check out of this hotel, the D in downtown. It's been nice at the D. I don't like the city of Las Vegas very much, as I mentioned in previous videos, but hey, I was with my friends and it's been an experience. So uh, I'm almost back to a familiar location. I'll be able to email you guys all soon enough. I owe a lot of people a lot of emails. And I wanna mention again, I'm gonna be on the Carrie Lush Show very soon. I should have said it's being recorded on Wednesday. I have no idea when it's gonna be posted. So stay tuned. Um, I, as you can see, I'm still posting a new video every day. So that's something interesting about this channel. Even when I'm in far away Las Vegas, I wanna mention Jim Rickards. Uh, had a very interesting tweet. Uh, it was either yesterday or the day before, and about the mainstream financial markets, how they've been, they were rocked on Friday, and he thought maybe, maybe they're pricing in a Trump victory because as I as I've mentioned here before, if Trump wins, there's going to be a, a financial panic of some sort, and Bitcoin will benefit. And now, you know, there's breaking news here on Sunday that Hillary Clinton, um, who really does appear to be sick. Um, fainted or something in New York City, so it's all it's on the mainstream news now. And no one can deny it. So this is going to uh, this could rock the financial markets again on Monday. The mainstream ones, and again, Bitcoin could could benefit from this because uh, if Clinton is now uh, people are going to lose confidence. Perhaps I, I I anyway, it's uncertainty as we've mentioned here before. Uncertainty causes drops for certain things and helps other things and it might be helping Bitcoin. I will link to the Twitter tweet by Jim Rickards. All right, the slow Bitcoin rise that we've all been witnessing. I mean, it can make you feel bad in the end if you're not careful. Um, let's say back when it was at 570, 575, you were sort of ready to buy, but you were hoping it would go down in price. And then it slowly keeps going up and you keep saying to yourself, well, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow it'll go down a little bit and I'll buy. And then maybe the next week it'll go down a little bit. But before you know it, the Bitcoin you could have purchased it for $575 is now $700. And, and in the long run, by the way, that doesn't really matter because it's, I, as I said, by 2020, hopefully we'll get to 1,000, if not sooner. I'm very conservative. I like to have conservative goals. Who knows what it could be by 2020. But a uh, $125 difference in the here and now makes, makes a big difference for, to some people. And a scenario that, like that that I just described, people can get very discouraged and be like, ah, I just went up $125, I'm so sad I didn't buy it, I'm just not gonna buy any now. Hey, and that's the worst that can happen. So be careful of the slowly rising Bitcoin because you might get stuck in a situation where you pay more than you originally intended or you might not even buy any so that is not cool when you know when you really wanted it but in the long run it's going to help you a lot all right so today oh god today is the nfl opening day and it is like the mindless wasteful holiday of the uh americans who are just I mean, they, they don't want to live in reality. This has become their reality, these games. And you know, I, I everyone knows I am a big <laughs> Baltimore Orioles fan. That's a baseball team. And it, so a few of you know that I have been into the Baltimore Ravens for many years since. And, but, but last year I, I was traveling quite a bit and I didn't really watch them very much. But this, this year I am making a point not to waste time on the Baltimore Ravens at all. I mean, because the NFL has, has become such a waste of time for so many people. And I'm here preaching, preaching, I'm talking to so many of you about bettering your lives and spending your time in a better way and spending your money in a better way. And I don't spend money on the NFL, but me spending a lot of time looking at statistics of Joe Flacco or whatever and actually watching the games, going out of my way to watch the games. And the game is going on right now. You know, when I was young, it'd be unimaginable for me not to see the game. But that, you're better you know, dedicating yourself to Bitcoin and the NFL. And so I'm gonna practice what I preach and that's it. I am dedicating myself to Bitcoin during Sundays and I'm gonna focus on Bitcoin so much more in times that I would have been maybe like looking up NFL stuff. And again, I cut down on my NFL, 
But, I mean, right now you can go downstairs to that casino and there are grown men with different colored shirts on, screaming and yelling, and it's just such a horrible waste. And they're blowing their money on beer and gambling and, and, and just things that are associated with the NFL when they could be just buying one Bitcoin and bettering their lives and, you know, helping. When you buy one Bitcoin, you're doing something I, I, and for society that's better than just this NFL mindlessness because it is such a waste of time and just creating more, getting into the NFL, feeding that monster, just creating more mindless people. And we don't want more of that. We want some smart people. And guess what? The, even me talking about this, if I had a billion subscribers, it wouldn't make a difference because some people just enjoy being mindless and being numb and won't even get into Bitcoin. So if you get into Bitcoin, you're going to have an advantage. Everyone, have a great day. Remember what happened 15 years ago. I will talk to you later. Bye.